Hey guys, these are five trends to watch as spring season begins. Let's get into it. Go. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Manuel Sanchez. I'm a real estate agent here in San Diego, and I'd greatly appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe button to support my channel. All right, let's get into it. Spring home buying season, typically the most active time of year for home shopping, is about to begin in earnest with a calmer market. But while the boost in newly listed homes that marks the start of spring is relatively small, it should translate to more options for buyers compared to this same time last year. Now, home shoppers who are prepared to move and act quickly may even find some relief in price reductions. However, though, affordability is still a major challenge, but those shopping now should see early season price cuts on leftover or mispriced properties. That may dry out fast, though, as the housing market warms up with the season. Having said that, both buyers and sellers are navigating this mixed bag. Price cuts and flattening home prices paired with volatile mortgage rates and relatively stagnant inventory. So if you're looking towards spring wondering what the hell to expect? Well, here it is. Generally, the spring shopping season runs from April through June in most of the country, at least. How busy any given market gets depends on many things, including the economy local wages, and whether there are sufficient homes for sale to meet buyer demand. The persistent shortage of listings, coupled with volatile mortgage rates and high home prices, have made for a less dramatic seasonal swing in the past year. But the expectation remains that sellers will list their homes in greater numbers this spring, especially since buyers and sellers seem to be adjusting to the higher interest rate. It is still, however, a seller's market, and this is nationally sellers do have a slight advantage due to competition for the low number of listings. But sellers still have to meet buyers where they're at in terms of affordability. Buyers are stretched pretty thin right now and sellers and their agents have to price their homes appropriately for their market if they want to sell quickly and for the price they're asking. So all in all, keep an eye on mortgage interest rates, which are notoriously hard to predict. If rates swing upward as they did in October of 2023, it could push homes further out of reach of buyers and lead to more price cuts. Without a lot of recent sales to draw insight from, judging a list price has been especially hard these days. Looking at February listings, they show a slight improvement from last year's dreary picture. New listings are up 6% from a year ago, while total listings, which include homes that have lingered on the market, rose more than 3% compared to last year. There are slightly more homes for sale than this same time last year, and there is still plenty of competition for well-priced houses. On a monthly basis though, the number of homes for sale ticked up, which is a welcome sign, but not enough to shift the market in a buyer's favor. Sellers are still in a good spot. They're sitting on a record amount of home equity that they may be looking to cash in. Until they do though, competition for homes is likely to remain stiff. So remember, more homes means greater choices for buyers and could potentially translate to lower prices or concessions if homes take longer to sell.